drive to right. Takes a three. Touchdown, 49ers. Hurry! Hey, what's up, Bay Area? It's the Audible Drew Hoffer, former San Francisco Giant Kevin Franz, and there he is, and Rudy Ortiz. Catch us every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. on KMBR 1050. We're talking right now, big series with the Giants and the Dodgers. And our boy, we talked to in spring training, Christian Arroyo was called up, making his major league debut. He went 0 for 4. It's okay, though. I'm talking about what kind of impact does he need to have to get that confidence built up in the show. I mean, don't expect him to hit 446 like he did in his first few at-bats with the Sacramento River Cats. Right. But expect a big, just... Boost of energy from this kid. This kid's got a lot of confidence behind him. He's got an unbelievable swing. He's got an unbelievable presence about him. Last night, what he was able to do in his first at bat, which was move a runner over, is probably the toughest thing to do in your first at bat, is to execute. It would be nice if some, no one was on base and you could just go up there and hit, hopefully get your job done. But no, there, Brandon Crawford hits a double. Next thing you know, you need to get him to third with less than two outs. What did he do? He came through. That's the one thing the Giants have been lacking early on in the season is playing the small game. You know, moving guys over, getting them, got, getting the runners in when they have to. And right last night, he was the main reason they got that first run. Rudy, what do you think about your Dodgers this year? Heading into well, San Francisco for the first time in 2017. Uh, you know, I think if anything, it's going to give the Giants the boost that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. They uh, start starting off the season a little bit slow. Christian Arroyo's uh, participation, everybody's anticipating that. They've had some things go their way, the Giants have, and they've also had some negative stuff, and you know, talking about the Madison Bumgarner injury. But a series rap, like rap. this, exactly, a series like this when you're playing against your rival and you got the energy of the crowd in the stadium and they're pumped up because it's the boys in blue, the hated Dodgers. This is the type of series that could really turn things around and put the Giants in the right direction. And I think last night, the 2-1 victory was definitely the right step in the right direction. They gotta change something around as a slow start. Here's a question for you though, Kevin. Does Christian Royal stay at third base? Yes, absolutely. I mean, the first ne next couple of days, well, Brandon Crawford, he goes on uh, his bereavement list mm -hmm. uh, leave. Mm -hmm. We're going to see Christian Arroyo probably a shortstop, a natural position for him. You can see him being comfortable. With third base is his spot. I mean, where else is he going to play? First base, locked up. Brandon Belt. Second base, locked up. Joe Panic. Mm -hmm. Shortstop, Gold Glover. Mm -hmm. Brandon Crawford. Third base is his spot. You're going to see Eduardo Nunez moving around a lot, being that super utility guy, using the wheels, knowing that he can perform admirably at a lot of different positions. Here's the Christian Arroyo and having a great career. We all hope it. I mean, whether it's your time or not, you're here, perform. We're gonna be watching them, we're getting ready for the Giants to turn things around, a little slow in 2017, but don't you worry, we're gonna be covering the Giants every single morning at 6 a.m. It's the Audible on KMBR 1050, the sports leader.